beautiful. Can you um, tell us a little bit about Matty and what you like about him? Um, well. When we looked at Matty, uh, we liked the fact that he could, he's a little bit more versatile. Uh, he plays in the midfield, uh, uses both his feet, which is great, which, especially for a midfielder to be able to open up and use both feet makes life a lot easier at the same time. He's a good size. We always talk about size in the in the coach's office. He's a great size for us uh, and has a presence in that midfield. It will give us a lot of depth in that position as well with Payne and Roofs as well for, for, for this upcoming season. And the thing about uh, Matty as well, I think at times if we, we're really struggling, I think he can do a great job as a central defender because if we want to play out from the back, he's technically good enough to do that. And also I think he can play out higher up the park as well if we need to play him as a 10. So very looking forward to uh, getting him on the training park and training with the group. Yeah. Matty, uh, welcome to Wellington. <coughs> yeah, thank um, you. Can you tell us a bit about how this all happened and, and what it was about the Wellington Phoenix that, that you liked? Um, yeah, I got the call one and a half weeks ago um, from my agent. He told me that there's interest from Wellington Phoenix. And then, yeah, um, I followed a lot of the league, the A League um, in, in Germany and in Denmark as well. And yeah, it was an exciting offer, so I had to think about it like just a short time, and then it was um, clear for me that I want to come here. And then I took some calls with um, Sean Jill and with the coach, and yeah, it was definitely give, gave me a good feeling to come here. You've had a few German players in the A League, uh, not necessarily in Wellington, but playing in the A League. Is, is there anybody who you knew? that you could talk to about the A-League who had played in the A-League? Yeah, definitely. Um, I have a friend, uh, Maximilian Beister, who played for uh, Melbourne Victory. I played with him in Hamburg and in Mainz as well. Um, and yeah, um, he told me a lot. And he was like, it's a very physical league and you will definitely like it. Um, it's definitely your um, style of play here. So if you have to get an offer, just do it because it's a really nice league and it's a really interesting league. Yeah, and here I am. It's, I'm really happy to be here now in, in, in Wellington. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Has it helped um, by playing in New Zealand before at the Under-20 World Cup? Um, it's obviously a short competition, but does that help at all? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Um, it was a nice experience as well um, to play for Germany then Under-20 World Cup. Um, we just we were based in Christchurch for four weeks, um, so we didn't travel a lot. Um, it was definitely a nice experience, but I, I wouldn't say that it will help me to, to sell here in Wellington. What are you hoping to achieve here in, in Wellington? Obviously, you made some first team appearances when you were quite young at, at Hamburg. Yeah. Um, so, are you hoping just to yeah, kind of reestablish yourself as a professional footballer? Um, it definitely is nice. Like, it's a really interesting. Um, um, was a really interesting offer here. We have a young team with like lots of young players. So, I'm young as well, but a bit more experienced than them than they are. So, I really look forward to like have a great season um, with them um, to help them and. Yeah, achieve our goals. Can you just talk us through your decision to come over to this part of the world? I mean, a lot of young players here look to head over to the Europe side of things. So, so what was sort of behind your decision to, to make it make the trip all the way down here? Yeah, I had a couple of offers from Germany as well, but I was like, no, um, I want to do something different. So I was on something, um, I want to achieve something new. And then I got the offer from Wellington Phoenix, and I really, was really glad for that. Um, Offer, so I took the, I grabbed the chance to go here. And I guess within uh, the football community out there, how well known is, is the A League? Do, do, I mean, did you have to research it at all? Did you? Is, is it is it well known with amongst players and teams and coaches and you, everything like that? Yeah, for me it is. It's a it's a rising league. So this um, this year is a, like a, um, um, it's a team more than last year. So it's a rising league and it's a really interesting league, um, especially with, like with um, lots of travel from especially from Wellington. To, to Perth, to Adelaide, there's a lo um, lots of different, um, lots of interesting games to play. So it's a really nice and exciting experience. And uh, yeah, how valuable is someone like this, so young, uh, with you know, experience behind him like this? Well, look, we, we try to create a team with uh, with youth and, 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 and experience as well. And Matty, Matty brings both of that at the same time, being 24. So. Uh, like I said, it'll give, give us a lot of depth in that position now with, with uh, Roofs and Payne uh, as a six. Uh, like I said, for me, uh, it's, he's quite excited to be here, which, which is the first and foremost. He's ambitious, he wants to be successful, and that's what we want. That's the type of players that we were looking for all season. And just like I said, looking forward to getting him on the park and uh, get training with the group and, and moving forward and getting ready for the season. A lot of the imports that come to the A-League are often at the end of their career. Um, so what's like the benefit of... Yeah, Obviously, he brings a lot of energy, and uh, he, he still wants to establish himself as, as a footballer as well. So for us, that's that's a that's a great player to bring as a visa player. And 
like I said, I think he's going to be good for us in that position moving forward. And I think, uh, like I said, he wants to establish himself and, and then we move on for looking for next season as well and what we do with Matty as well. Are you happy with the comments of that in central midfield as well? I guess, um, yeah, like some pains are a lot for the New Zealand, so there's going to be a bit of battle between the three of those guys? Well, that's what you want. You want, you want, to, you want a competition amongst the group. You want players to uh, not be comfortable. You want players on their toes and you want players to be uh, ready and fight for their position. And then that's what Matty will bring as well into the squad. So, Matty, the way or where you are playing in Europe, do you see your move here? Where does that sort of fit into your career? And does the coach is talking about expressing yourself, but do you feel that you might have like more freedom or something in the A League to shine in some way? Yeah, hopefully I will shine in the in the A League. Um, I'm definitely that's the reason why I'm here. Um, I'm really ambitious um, to achieve our goals with Thornton Phoenix. Um, yeah, because as I said, it's a really interesting league. Um, to play in, and so yeah, that's the reason why I'm here. I think uh, what Matty does well, it fits into the mould of, of, of the Sixers that we want, uh, and the way that I want to play, and the way that the, the team is structured. So I think that's very important for us, where he's also, like you say, he's, he's a lot younger than the previous visas that we bring in normally into, into the A-League, so like I said, it'll bring us a lot of energy in that position, so that's very important as well. So when you talk about the way you, you want your Sixers to play, are you talking about with the ball, without both, the ball? Both, both, both. both. With the ball, they become footballers. With the, without the ball, they, they become bulldogs. But if you just, just quickly, this is the first time we've had a chance to talk to you since the, the draw came out. Obviously, yes. Western United. Um, how exciting is that fixture? I mean, you're talking about it throughout the club for weeks, but it's, it's locked in. I mean, how exciting is that going to be um, for, for the team? And, and I guess you as well, personally. You know, I think uh, it's good to know where we are now, and it's good that the draw is out, and that's the first game. I think it's going to be uh, quite exciting to to bring Mark back as well. I think it's going to be uh, a great game. Uh, I think it's going to be great for the fans. Also, I'm sure they'll give him a great reception when he comes back into town. So, now yeah, looking forward to the challenge. Is it going to be hard to not let, I guess, um, any feelings within the players get to them at, 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 that, at that time? Well, these boys are professionals, so at the end of the day, they'll, they'll go out there and do their job. Do you think Mark is thinking about his walk from the tunnel past Yellow Fever to the other side, you know, where the benches are at Westpac, right? It's quite a long walk. Do you think he's thinking about that? Yeah, I think he's probably more thinking about his team at this stage, I reckon, and how to get them structured and how he wants to get them to play. So that's all part of the game. I think he'll, uh, it'll, it'll be fine for him. And in terms of um, further signings, are you looking to keep some spots open for, for January? Uh, at this stage, we're still looking at a. We've got a couple more positions that we're looking at. Uh, we'll get one more hopefully soon over the line, and then we'll uh, assess where we are and what we need to do within that last position. Is it attacking players you're after now? Yes. When the draw came out, did you think uh, you know the A League obviously put these matchups sort of straight away? I mean, that was an obvious, wasn't it? The Wellington Phoenix to play. The new team straight away. Yes, of course. At the end of the day, you've got to market the league as well and try to get the best games for the for the first round. So you want to start on a big bang and get, <coughs> get the league up and running. So obviously when they've done the draw together and uh, to get that sorted. So for me, I look at it as a positive. Great first first uh, game at home against uh, Western United. Bring Mark Rudin back into, into Westpac Stadium. I think it's going to be a great occasion. Did you have the feeling that the previous coaches and players have mentioned that... Um, the way the Wellington Phoenix are treated in the A-League perhaps or, or the way they're seen their place in the A-League that um, did you come here thinking that you know if we're going to be up against it in some way? No, obviously uh, pro previously Wellington Phoenix always had the underdog tag but we want to create an environment and create a team that teams fear to actually come and play in Wellington. You just could be have you spoken to Mark since that fixture was confirmed? Is your relationship one where you <laughs> give each other a bit of stick? Or oh, well, he, he sent me a text the other night before the FA Cup game saying all the best, so I replied thank you. So the relationship still is there. We're still mates. Uh, when we are on the field, it's totally different. Uh, we, we become rivals, and then once the 90 minutes is over, we're friends again. So that's, that's, that's the nature of the game.